Hi, and welcome back. What I want to do is I want to talk about an important topic that I think is is useful and many of my clients have brought it up in, in our time together. It's how to survive social situations as an introvert. Okay, let's get rolling. Now, we've all heard of introverts and extroverts, right? Most people fall somewhere on the continuum between the two types. So what exactly does this mean? Introverts gain energy and replenish themselves by spending some time alone. They can process the world and interactions by turning inward and thinking quietly to themselves. They often talk of feeling exhausted when having too much time around other people, particularly groups of people. On the other hand, extroverts gain energy from being around other people and sometimes can be seen as the life of the party. They are often bold, they keep the conversation going, or they sometimes tell spectacular stories to the groups that they're within. Now, the introvert. In today's busy society, you know, being connected 24-7, it can be difficult to navigate as a more introverted individual. Not to mention our obsession with social media and posting about our lives minute by minute. It's easy to see why extroverts are thriving in this climate of constantly being out and about and posting about it. The more introverted individual needs to find their place in this world and learn how to thrive. Sometimes it's necessary to go out with friends or colleagues in order to maintain relationships, build your professional reputation, or expand your social network or group of friends. Going outside your comfort zone into situations that can benefit your career or doing something for someone you love will work for you in the long term. So what can you do as more of an introvert to survive and thrive in today's world? So let's talk about the introvert's guide to being social. Anyone who is an introvert knows that social situations can be hard and emotionally taxing. As an introvert, you gain energy from being alone, thinking quietly, and being in large groups of people, it can actually be really quite exhausting and I've often heard it's, it can be a nightmare. But being around other people is also very important for our health and our well-being. So it's vital to make an effort to engage in social situations regularly. No one expects you to be the life of the party, but you can learn a few hints, tricks, techniques, strategies to make it easier to enjoy social engagements while also maintaining your own sanity. Now the first point is getting into the right headspace. Before jumping into a social situation, spend a few minutes alone, getting your thoughts in order, meditate, listen to music, or just sit quietly. But use the last few minutes before entering a party or get together or whatever social situation you're going into to enjoy the time with yourself to focus on your energy and to give you a peaceful mind that will help you feel more at ease once you enter the group. Another important point or tip is take a friend. When attending a function where you're likely going to feel emotionally drained after a brief time, take a more extroverted friend with you. When your partner in crime is more outgoing than you, it can relieve some of the pressure on you to make conversation or to talk with strangers. Your wing person can do the hard work of introductions and even talk you up to others. No extrovert worth his or her salt will leave you standing in a corner alone. And if they're a good friend, they'll respect when you, you need to go. Another important point is don't be afraid to take a break. When large gatherings or long days get to be a little much, it is essential for introverts to take some time to recharge. 
excuse yourself to make a call or to get some air, then enjoy some time alone. Walking around the block or taking a more extended breather is also useful during more intense or lengthier events. People won't even know you're gone and it gives you the time you need to regroup. Making an excuse to visit the bathroom is always an excellent way to get out of a conversation so you can find some time alone. Just remember the rule of three. You can go to the bathroom for a number one, a number two, or a number three, which is the regroup option. Another important tip is coming with three questions and two stories. Being introverted often means you get anxious about having to make small talk with others so that you do not have to think on your feet. Prepare a few things ahead of time. Now, I'm not suggesting you prepare the entire conversation beforehand because that could be referred to as what's called a safe behavior, which I'll expand upon in another video. But before going to an event, prepare for chit chat by thinking about those three questions you would like to ask other people. Also think of two interesting or new stories you could tell about yourself. This gives you something to say when the conversation lulls and kind of goes flat a bit and ensures you're not left floundering for what to talk about. Now it's not a damaging thing to be introverted and you don't have to try and become something you're not. But when you need to be more social and spend time with others, it's helpful to know how to make the best of these social situations. Now thanks very much for watching and if you'd please subscribe to the channel Make some comments below if something pops up in your mind that you're thinking, I'd like to ask Patrick this, or I'm not sure what he meant by this, or if you have an interesting topic for me to talk about in my next videos, please do so. I'm really interested in getting to know you this way. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.